I'm here with the reigning Olympic champion, Brian Boitano, and his coach, Linda Lever. Brian, has that uh, sunk in yet? I don't think it'll ever sink in. I'm still trying to get a hold of the fact that I was 86 world champion. Um, I don't think it will ever, and I think that's part of the, um, the magic of it. I think I came here only expecting to hopefully skate as well as I could. I really, I really truthfully didn't care so much about the medals. I didn't care about the color of it. I just wanted to come and prove to myself that under such extreme types of pressures, I could really hold it together and do it. And that's all I wanted to do, and I did it. This, you knew going in that this was going to be the biggest moment in your skating career. As you stepped on the ice, what was going through your mind? When I stepped on the ice, it was hard because there was a voice talking to you saying, this is it, this is the Olympics. But the other voice said, just treat it like another competition. You know how to do it. You've done it millions of times. Um, so it was kind of a fight. It was a, a tug of war. And thank God Linda was there because um, all I have to do is look at Linda and she knows what I'm thinking. And I just said to myself, take one thing at a time. And if you take one thing at a time, you know how to do everything and it can't go wrong if you just do everything that you tell yourself to do. And it was a fight and it was exhausting fight. This whole week was exhausting. It was like no competition I've ever been at, no feeling that I've ever experienced. It was pressure at its ultimate. And um, I'm more proud of myself getting through it um, with, I think, the best all-around competition I've ever skated in my life um, than anything else. Linda, standing there on the side, you'd done all the work you could possibly do. What was going through your mind? Um, I was actually very calm, and I trusted that he would be able to do it really well. I thought he was going to skate great. From the time he landed the first jump, um, then I really knew he was on. Congratulations, Olympic champion. Let's go back to Frank Gifford. Thank you very much, David. It was so close to